there's this bar over in West Columbia. And everybody knew if you wanted to go to a place where anything goes, this was the spot. And sure enough, fella shows up there one night. He knows no one's gonna cut him off. And he goes and he starts shooting liquor and he starts chasing his liquor shots with beer. And he gets wasted. No one checks on him, no one offers him a ride home, no one offers him food, no one offers him more. When it comes to safe alcohol service, they do the opposite. This is pure danger. At the same time that this guy's leaving this bar, there's a woman named Edna Wampler. We had a birthday party for my three-year-old great-grandson. I was taking my granddaughter home, and I dropped her off and was going back home, and I pulled up to a red light. The next thing I know, I had been slammed in the rear. What Edna doesn't know is the fella who got so wasted at that bar, he's so drunk they actually passes out behind the wheel. And right as he comes to, he sees the brake lights on Edna's vehicle, it's way too late. Life's changed. I guess I was just in shock. The first thing I did was call my son and he says, Mom, where are you? I told him I didn't know. I didn't know where I was at. I just was so dazed. He said, Mom, hang up and call 911. They got me in the ambulance and uh, they took me to the hospital and I was there all night. I wound up going to doctors and uh, then they sent me to Atlanta, to Dr. Ree in Atlanta, and he had to do surgery on my neck. My niece told me, she says, Aunt Sissy, you've got to call a lawyer. And I said, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. She said, call a lawyer. And so I got on my phone and I looked up the top 10 lawyers. Kenny had the highest rating, so I called him. It was just like talking to a person in your family. They were so, so good and just, you know, like they've known me all my life. And um, it was great. I was still scared because you hear things about people getting lawyers to sue people and do this and do that. And I'm not that type of person to do that. Kenny made me feel comfortable with doing it because he explained a lot of things to me. He had worked a lot of cases. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a relief just to be talking to him. When we resolved Edna's case, it couldn't just be based on what what she'd gone through up until the surgery. Had to be based on what she was gonna live with the rest of her life. Because an irresponsible bar overserved a guy who himself chose to get behind the wheel, so intoxicated that he passed out and crashed into her. That should not happen. This was totally preventable. People know you don't get out on the road drinking. You just don't do that. I think a lot of Kenny and their staff, his staff, I really do. He's, he's an awesome person. And I let everybody know it too.